it can sometimes be very hard working with people who know a lot of information because they are able to talk at any time about any point of the work that they're doing and um, as you as you said they can improvise a lot they don't need to prepare so much they don't need to prepare because they know a lot about the topic and they could talk about the topic for two or three days you know <laughs> maybe they only need to talk about it for 15 20 minutes but they know so much about it that uh, they don't feel the need to focus on it so much which can be really difficult when you have a presentation to present or you don't know a lot and you want to have some security in your own presentation which is usually preparing materials in advance uh, because you don't know what people are going to ask and you want to share some useful information and you don't know everything <laughs> so you can't answer everything you can only talk about yeah we, we're all we are all only limited by the things that we know yeah and uh, for people who are new in an organization or company obviously they usually know less about uh, certain topics and uh, so yeah it, it can be a problem trying to mix the new and the old <laughs> together uh, in in that way and um, I think it's it, it's a situation where balance is difficult because they can always contribute to what you are doing but you can't always contribute to what they are doing yeah they can always add something to what you're saying but you can't add much to what they're saying because they know so much more and so you need you need more time you need to prepare you need the information and um, you also you want to know something and you want to look like you know something you don't want to leave everything to somebody else the other person can say well i know it all i'll i'll, I'll do it but it's like well no it, it's that there's more to it than that right there's the fact that that everybody wants to contribute and we want to have progress and we want to uh you know we're for a lot of people we're employed to do a job and we actually want to do the job not, not everybody wants to do the job but uh, but um, um, it, it can be hard in in that scenario the um, those who like to prepare are always held back by those who don't like to prepare and the uh, um, the the that that kind of scenario never really changes um, I know from my own experience that um, in many situations, not in all situations, but in many situations in the past, I liked to be over prepared for everything, to think about what I need and to think about what I might need if I don't have what I need um, so that everything can work out, um, you know, have a plan B, not just a plan A. And there are many people who don't have even a plan A when they when they go into uh, uh, into some situations and many people can live with it you know many people can walk into a meeting with zero preparation and do quite well <laughs> um, obviously in some cases you need to be prepared in different ways but uh, um, um, it depends also on how much empathy you've got as well because um, you need to understand where other people are coming from and uh, obviously the transfer of information is not just verbal you know it's also visual uh, and in terms of infographics and charts and uh, written in terms of phrases and words and uh, um, data that is handed out so um, those things also matter and there should be variety in all presentations in order to keep people's interest um, yet at the same time perhaps even more important is to transfer the key pieces of information and keep everything short um, 
one of the CEOs that I respect a lot is uh, Gary Vaynerchuk of um, what does he have Vayner Media I think uh, and he says the maximum amount of time of any meeting should be about 12 minutes so you shouldn't have any meeting for more than 12 minutes because in his experience 12 minutes is all you need to contribute the main points or to transfer the main points that you want to other people and to answer any of their questions he said you shouldn't need any more than 12 minutes of a meeting to uh, he, and, and he says by by using that philosophy he finds that zero time is wasted and that for him and his company one of the greatest problems is wasted time time spent on non productive activity everybody's doing things in every company everybody's doing things but are they doing them productively that is the question is it providing something positive is it moving everybody and everything forward and and if you think about it, we've all had experiences where we're sitting in meetings going, why am I here? <laughs> you know, I'd, I wish this would finish. <laughs> I'm hungry. Is it lunchtime? You know, <laughs> there's all these things going going around our head as well. So um, if we can uh, keep things short and hit the main point, and that's what people, that's what motivated people want the key points. Tell me, how does this work? What's the problem with this? How do we solve that? Okay, super. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Of course, there's more to it than that. There's, you know, empathy for the people you're communicating with and the problems they're experiencing as well. And those take time to um, to understand. Um, but uh, if you employ the right people for the right jobs they're able to solve the small problems themselves and you don't have to worry about it um, too much and that that's the invisible work that happens within companies within companies most of what people see is what happens when people jump up and down and wave their arms and say look at me look at me look at me look at me but there's a lot of things happening that people never see in companies yeah a lot of filled in data sheets and sent emails and communications and wondering about how do I solve this problem and maybe even sleepless nights for some people you know b before important events so oh, oh I, I you know I hope this goes well or how is this going to be or um, um, the collapsing exhausted when you come back from a trip <laughs> you, you get back home you drop your bags and you fall asleep <laughs> if, you, if you if you if you have that luxury uh, of opportunity I suppose so um, um, those are just some thoughts on on meetings and communication um,